It's been an interesting 24 hours of reporting from the Daily Mail. I'm using reporting very loosely here. There was this blink and you'll miss it headline on July 4th that gave way to this new headline. Honestly, these kind of edits seem to happen so often that I wonder if it's just sloppy rushed work or if it's intentional. Perhaps they put up this salacious headline knowing that they are going to change it later, but that it's going to grab enough buzz online that people will click on the link or search for it, hoping to find this headline, but instead they get this one. Now, to be clear, it was not just the Daily Mail that ran with this whole, wow, Mirka does not look very happy at the closeness between Kate and Roger, but they did change the headline, which makes me wonder if there was pressure from the palace to do so. But then this article drops on July 5th, the day after. Inside Kate Middleton and Roger Federer's very playful friendship from breaking royal protocol with three kisses, three, not two, three, to putting him through his paces on the court. I am not going to attempt to distill from a couple of photographs what Roger and Kate's friendship is. I do wonder, though, if this photo that they chose to put in this article of Roger and his wife was intentional, though. Like, was this just to show that she has really good RBF? and that people shouldn't read too much into the way she looks in this photo? Perhaps. It just feels like a cleanup job. Feels like perhaps they crossed the line with inferring that anything was improper in this situation, and were very quick to do a very, very long article with not much to it about how beloved Roger is in Kate Middleton's family, how well they get along every single interaction they seemingly have ever had. Interestingly, though, this was not an entire article about breaking royal protocol. Again, it's very telling how royal protocol is wielded by the press, whether it's a cheeky kind of shocking thing, or if it is grounds for having someone drawn and quartered. What's funny, though, is that for all the talk on June 24th about comparing Kate to Diana in their dressing as sexist and decidedly not feminist, I'm not sure how women be jealous of each other at all times isn't also playing into sexist old tropes. But again, this feels like a cleanup on aisle six job. A fluff piece that shows it's not just Princess Kate that likes Roger Federer, the whole family does. Prince George has even gotten some lessons from him. It's all above board. And I'm sure that made some people and some sources at the palace very happy.